I'm coming to you from the Democratic National Convention of the year 2020 in Wilmington, Delaware. It is the most unconventional convention in the history of the United States. None of that usual cheering crowd, electric atmosphere, nobody to speak to even the media. And what makes it even more interesting is the fact that this virtual convention presents an unprecedented challenge for the organizers. They are faced with the task of making sure that politicians who have waited their entire lives to speak at events such as this one to gain national recognition get the right amount of time that goes ahead and ensures that the Democratic Party can make that political messaging wave that impacts the national voter. But when you have this kind of a virtual convention, it makes it even more tougher. What Joe Biden will be looking to do is come up with the sharpest rebuke yet of Donald Trump. But at the same time, for you Indians out there, he will also try to give you a sense of why he picked Kamala Harris, the Indian origin running mate, once again. Once again, for the organizers, this has been an organization nightmare, and they have to turn it into the voters' dream. And this turns out to be another reminder of why the year 2020 is just something we cannot predict anything about. Because when it comes to the end of this national convention, political campaigners, the media, pollsters, all of them will not have a clue of how to actually assess the impact of a convention that has been virtual when it comes to looking ahead to the results of 2020. In Delaware, in the United States, covering this particular U.S. presidential election, Amitot Singh for NDTV.